recently I had I had a bit of an encounter with um with with the, with the kind of person that I think we've all experienced and usually the kind of person that once we experience them we tend to kind of avoid them what I'm talking about here are know-it-alls there are two types of know-it-all they're like the harmless types who think that multivitamins are placebos you know you just wanted to go to the store to grab some things and you mention, oh, I, I need to grab a couple things. I got to get some multivitamins. Oh, oh, you know, those don't work. You know, they're just, uh, they're just placebos. And I just, I needed to grab some deodorant. You know what? I don't even wear deodorant anymore. You shouldn't wear deodorant either because it causes breast cancer. And then they're the more like logic resistant know-it-alls where once you actually start to challenge them, things get a little hostile. Uh, I had a friend who right after my son was diagnosed with type one diabetes, came over and said, she's going to help me meal plan so we could all go keto. No, that's not how this works. Actually, he needs insulin. No, he doesn't. He needs to go keto. You can all go keto. I know what I'm talking about. We can make salads and mason jars. It's going to be fine. No, actually, the science is that his pancreas is dying Ugh. because you guys haven't been eating right and you need to go on keto. Fascinating. It's almost like you didn't stay in the PICU for a week learning about all this. It's like you're talking out of your... I kind of encountered one of the more extreme know-it-alls in this situation that was uh, altogether entertaining and disturbing at the same time. Please do not snack while you watch this. So this person was in my home um, helping to assess the services that my sons might be... Um, might benefit from. He works in the field of special needs people. And as he's leaving, he says to me, uh, off the record, can I ask you a question? And I thought, yeah, sure. Did you have both of your babies by a C-section? A little bit personal. Yeah, a little bit personal. Um, I'm not ashamed of it. It was the best thing for me and my babies. I could have died otherwise. So what's there to be embarrassed about, you know? So I say to him, yes, I did. They were both, they're both C-section. This is his face, ready? <laughs> okay, okay, why? Should not have asked that question, okay? You know what curiosity did to the cat, right? It murdered it, it murdered the cat, but I had to know, so why? Well, you see, there's this doctor on YouTube. Oh God, you mean some random person got their own YouTube channel? You can only get one of those if you're brilliant, right? Proceeds to say, there's this doctor on YouTube. His theory about autism is that when the baby emerges from the birth canal, air simultaneously is released from the mother's anus and enters the child's digestive tract to give them the good gut bacteria. Uh-huh. Uh sure. And babies born by a C-section only have the mother's skin cells in their digestive tract and that's why they get autism. Huh. That's so. I'm looking at this person in my home who is deciding things for my children and I think, I think it's time for me to go to jail. I think I need to experience jail. He wrote down his name. He wrote down the, he wrote down the doctor's name for me. Wrote it down. Because you know what I, you know what I like to do in my spare time? Listen to dipshits. I don't have enough to do in my day. Why are you telling me this? It doesn't actually help the person. I'm kind of confused as to why they would bring that level of blame against a mom who has two special needs children and kind of doesn't need your bullshit. You know, damage is done, right? If they didn't get the birth fart at the precise time, that's it, right? Like, there's nothing you can do. You can't fart on the baby later, you know? I need to talk to this doctor, because is it too late? Can I reverse this? Can we save millions of babies by just hotboxing them? <sighs> the more, the more the better, mom. I don't want that autism. Does this doctor know, like, does he know that babies don't come out of the birth canal breathing and chewing and swallowing? He's the know-it-all that's actually destructive where you're like, are you blaming me for this? Are you trying to be hurtful and disgusting? Quick question. What the f am I supposed to do with that now? 
You're not even drunk, dude. You're not even drunk. That this could have been prevented and it's all your fault. So you're welcome. So my point is we all have these encounters with these know-it-alls. And what, I mean, we don't really call them know-it-alls. We usually call them douchebags. So if you encounter a douchebag and they just decide that they're smarter than you, just walk away. Don't date them either. Let them spend their holidays alone. It's better. It's better. Just. So anyways, look, if anyone tries to blame you for your kids or for your own um, health problems and, you know, just walk away. Now I have to hear your stories. So make sure you comment with your stories of what the actual... Did someone really just say that? I need to hear these stories. It makes me feel better. So, and you need to vent. And I'm here for you. You're not alone in this. And I 